Hello there! So, I am thrilled to be a part of any Kickshaw production or just generally around Lynn Lammers, but today we have Lynn Lammers here. Oh, of course. Hello. Uh, truthful as always. <laughs> um, Lynn is the artistic director of Kickshaw, mm -hmm. which started in... It's We're in our fourth season. Fourth season. Mm -hmm. Oh, so awesome. And last night we had our first... Uh, public preview mm -hmm. of the Ding Dongs, which is going on now until April 14th. Mm -hmm. What brought you to the Ding Dongs, and what made you decide Kickshot, of all companies, needs to do this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, it, uh, I, I was in a frantic hurry. I had a list of maybe plays, and then I was like, these are pretty good, but I'm just so picky. Mm -hmm. um, I really want to do something that... I want to do work that uh, no one else is doing. I want to do work that uh, plays with style and form and language um, that isn't straight realism. I want to do plays that um, uh, make you think and make you dig in and make you curious. And there's more... Um, going on than what's on the surface. If I read the play through the first time and there aren't any puzzles to be solved in the play, I'm bored. Mm. And I think my audience will be too. Yeah. Um, and so I want people to be entertained uh, and my way of drawing them in or getting people to kind of lean into it is that they've got to kind of figure out and figure out where these characters are going and what's happening as it unfolds. And it's full of surprises. Mm -hmm, it's really mm -hmm. important to me. Um, and so when I read it, I thought, am I just desperate to read a really good play? And my executive director is like breathing down my neck to choose a season. Is that why I love this play so much? I think this play might be brilliant. So that the day I read it, I took it home to my husband and I said, we are reading this out loud. And at the end we were both like, <laughs> This play, yeah, yeah. what? Yeah. Uh, just so funny and so intriguing, and has something to say, uh, but isn't uh, trying to teach us anything. It's asking big questions, yeah. and it's talking about uh, the things that we have dealt with as a human race throughout history. Uh, but it's also very germane to this moment. And uh, I just felt like it, it really um, dug into that curiosity piece. This is going to make people think and need to talk it out and think it out and work it out. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, and, uh, you know, we at Kickshaw, you know, we want to do those plays. Um, they aren't uh, necessarily always plays that... Um, you know, it, it's not like sitting down to watch a sitcom where mm -hmm. it's going to be easy. Like, it's going to be a night out with some friends that you feel like you can have conversation with after. Hmm. Um, and so that that's what Kickshaw is all about. Yeah. Um, that's what we want to do and that's what we need to be doing. The Ding Dongs is such a fast-paced, uh, there's such fast-paced dialogue, and it's two people trying to get what they want from a third person by kind of, not by force, by talking their way around things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And some of that has to do with um, using deception and trickery and um, and playing dumb and, uh, you know, uh, being silly and... Um, and moving so fast that he can't quite quite keep up. And so I was thinking of some of the sort of uh, vaudevillian type acts and um, old timey movies where you have that sort of pattery dialogue mm. back and forth. And um, I thought, okay, I'm trying to think of there's some character. I mean, Dan Johnson had a the Cary Grant example is great too. Oh, yeah. But but you know this these scenes where. You know, Barbara Streisand playing Dolly Levi is trying to kind of get what she wants out of the Horace Vandergelder character without explicitly saying it, but just kind of like tricking him into thinking it's his idea. Yeah, yeah. And before he knows it, she's gotten her way and he's, you know, given up whatever um, or given into whatever. And so I, I felt like, oh, that feels really right mm -hmm. for this show. Mm -hmm. So when you first, first read The Ding Dongs, what was the, what was, do you remember the moment where you were like, or is there, sorry, is there still a moment that hits you or that affects you 
Um, when I first read it, it was that I couldn't stop. Mm. I couldn't, it just kept drawing me forward. Mm. I just kept going. I mean, I'm like consuming this play. Yeah. We're, we're so often, I'm reading a play and I hit about 15, 20 pages in and I go, I don't know. I'm not sure. Should sure. I keep... Because I read and read and read a lot of plays. I'm looking for those special, right. rare plays. And uh, so I forgive myself if at page 20, I'm like, and this, I'm done with this. But this one, I didn't even, like, it, the play finished. And I was like, I, I I didn't even pause for a moment. The, the arc was so clear to me. And uh, I was so curious about what was going to happen next. Mm -hmm. And... Um, and as things started to shift and change and unfold uh, in the story, I was like, what? This is blowing my <laughs> mind. Yeah. And I was laughing. I thought I, I saw the Natalie and Joe characters as really um, two people who were finding a way to get what they need while being playful yeah. and, and having some fun. And so um, that was really satisfying. Yeah. Yeah. Well... Come on out, see the Ding Dongs, lean in and have some fun with us until April 14th Yeah, at the Trust Art Studio in Ann Arbor. Yeah, we're out on Jackson Road. Be there. Yeah. <laughs>